compute 2,500 times 8 times 80, or 2,500 times 80. Now, we could just do this multiplication problem like a traditional one, but when you have these numbers with a lot of zeros there, it's sometimes, and it actually sometimes helps you do it in your head, is to kind of think about the zeros later. And the reason why we can do that, let's rewrite this multiplication problem. 2,500 times 80. This is equivalent to, 2,500 is what? It's 25 times 100. This is equivalent to 25 times 100. That's what 2,500 is. 2,500 is 25 times 100 times 80. And what's 80? 80 is 8 times 10 times 8 times 10. And in multiplication, you can rearrange it any way you like. You can t change the order when it's all a bunch of numbers being multiplied. So this is the same thing. This is equivalent to 25 times 8, 25 times 8 times 100 times 100 times 10 times 10. And in the future, you're going to be able to do this in your head. But I really want to show you why you can do this in your head, why you can just multiply 25 times 8 and then worry about the zeros. So what's this going to be equal to? So this is going to be equal to, this is equal to 25 times 8. And what's 100 times 10? Well, 100 times 10 is 1,000. You maybe do that in your head. So times 1,000. And whenever you multiply powers of 10, the way you can think about it is you just literally add the zeros. You had two zeros here. You have one zero here. When you take their product, you're going to get something with three zeros. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And when we multiply this times whatever this is, we'll literally just add three zeros to the product. So that's why this is useful. We can now think about this as being, this is the same thing as 25 times 8. And then whatever 25 times 8 is, we can then add, we can then add three zeros to it. And we can then add three zeros. And hopefully this explained a little bit about why. So let's figure out what 25 times 8 is. 25, 25 times 8. Now 5 times 8 is 40. Put the 0 down, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. So it's an even, it's an even 200, which makes sense. Four times 25 is 100, or four quarters make a dollar. So eight quarters would make two dollars. So that all makes sense. So this part right here is 200. So we're going to multiply 200 times 1,000. 200 times 1,000. The easiest way to think about it is you just add the zeros when you're multiplying times a power of 10. So this is going to be we're going to have a 200, or you could put just imagine you have. 2, 0, 0, and then you add the three zeros there. 1, 2, 3, and you are left with 200,000. So 2,500 times 80, 200,000. You could have multiplied out in the traditional sense, but it's good to see this. I guess you could call it a trick or a way to do it in your head a little bit. And you'll, you'll see that more and more the more practice you get.